So we had a contract with the Snowmass Water and Sanitation to dig the foundation of a new earthen dam for a water retention reservoir. And uh, we started on uh, September 15th and on October 14th we had the dozer uh, taking out a layer of peat moss and it ran in to uh, pull the bones out of a uh, Colombian mammoth. And that started the find and uh, we notified the state and the Museum of Nature and Science and they came up and we started looking uh, as we were digging through the rest of the layers of soil and found uh, you know, 20 plus animals, mastodons, mammoths, sloths, ancient deer, bison, the one that's behind me here. Um, this bison is at least 45,000 years old and uh, it's one of the biggest uh, bison that has been ever found in existence. So the goal on this one, I think, I think really this is the iconic specimen so far that we found in terms of single object with like, oh my God, this thing is so immense. These really blew us away. We've got these zip ties on there because we're trying to keep the thing from cracking apart. They, they really have a tendency like wood when it cures to crack in the, in the conditions here. We've got a bunch of conservators working on the best way to do this. And this, the zip ties seem to be working pretty well. But you can see how this, this Tusk is hollow, and tusks are really interesting things because if you saw them in half, they actually have growth rings like trees. But the difference between an, an elephant and a tree is that a tree really goes through almost no growth in the winter, whereas an elephant's a warm-blooded animal, so it's growing every day. So it's laying down a, a layer of tusk every single day, maybe a little bit smaller in the winter when it's not growing as fast, but also you can represent in those growth rings, you can actually see the stresses the animal goes through. So, okay, so when, we, when we cleared out the dirt from the test, we found that they were full of little beautiful bones of salamanders, which means that at some point, I mean, we had found some salamander bones in the sediment when we were washing sediment, but then the dirt in the, in the tusk had these really pristine ones. So it's pretty clear at some point in time, the salamanders were living in ivory houses. <laughs> right? They're like going to the end here. And I mean, these, you'll not believe these little tiny bones. I mean, those are femora. Those are the thigh bones of salamanders. You look at an animal that's that long. We have got parts of their skulls. We have got vertebrae. We've got salamander toes, which are a millimeter long. <laughs> so, you know, it's this incredible thing that was a completely unexpected thing that happened in the lab when we were sorting through these things. And this is, I don't even remember this one, Mark. This is one of the last ones we got. This one where I just clipped off the tip of it. Yep. You get that beautiful yep. polished yep. tip. There's just no way to keep it from cracking because it's been soaked for 50,000 years and we bring it out into a variable humidity landscape. I mean, we could keep it under water and that's what they do. Like the pirate exhibit's opening here with, with us a couple of um, days. They actually have artifacts they just keep in water. They take it out of the bottom of the sea. It's off the coast of Cape. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this one is the beast. Oh yeah. yeah.